What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of the Nair Chase channel. I'm your boy Nair Chase and in this video we're going to be reviewing The Light Between Oceans. Now before we start this review I forgot to tell you guys we're trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year and so we greatly appreciate if you hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification button to get the best of what we got going on in this channel as well as me reminding you that hey on the weekends we do upload more videos so every weekend you get to see your boy Nair Chase and all the great content that we put out. So without further ado let's get into the review. Now, The Light Between Oceans is a 2016 romantic drama film directed by Derek Kane France. I, I just butchered this guy's name, but let's keep this rolling. And it's based off the 2012 novel of the same name by M.L. Stedman. I bought the book because I like the movie so much, so I can't wait to read that book and do a review on it. But anyway, the film tells the story of a lighthouse keeper and his wife who rescued an adopted infant girl adrift at sea. And years later, the couple end up discovering the truth. Let's see. Years later, the couple discovers the child's true parentage and are faced with the moral dilemma of their actions. Now, the film has a really good cast. It's, let's just go ahead and just talk about the two leads. Michael Fassbender and Alicia Vikander are two performers that I've greatly appreciated their films. I really like both of them. I thought they did a great job in this movie. They had such good chemistry together. I really enjoyed the characters. I really felt the love that these two characters have for each other. The tension that I followed them, especially given some of the problems that they have to face within the film. And I really uh, did appreciate that. And I have to say, Rachel Wise, I really appreciated her. I thought she brought a good amount of depth and help. she just brought an A-game in this film. I was just thoroughly surprised. She is a good actress and I love seeing her in a role like this. So thumbs up to the performances. Like I said, I really did appreciate the actors and actresses in this film. <clears throat> And it's cool seeing him play like more of these dramatic roles, especially Michael Fassbender. I've seen him in more action oriented stuff. And it's nice to see him, you know, take a step back from being Magneto and actually be feeling like a more grounded character. Not like his character because his character has a lot of conflictions. He's from the war, he just wants to live his life in peace. There's a lot of stuff that he's dealing with. And then Alicia Vikander's character who just wants to get out and see the world, wants to find love and just have that perfect life. And I like how these two just mold each other, how they complement each other, how they, you know, well, what one lacks, the other one uh, uh, has, and uh, how if one lacks one, the other one compensates. I just really enjoy This is probably some of the best acting I've seen between a man, uh, an actor and an actress in the film in quite some time. And I actually bought these two. Another good thing about this film is just how beautiful the cinematography in The wide shots of the ocean during the different times of the day where it's raining, storming, where it's in the sunrise, sunset, just beautiful looking film. The wide shots of the island, the way the they set the certain shots upon the lighthouse, just basically everything. Just this movie is just art, art, and it's not that art house horror crap. I mean, it's art and just the presentation and just how nuanced it is, and it's just pulling you into this this beautiful looking setting, and I just really it's like one of those times you watch a movie and you see a setting and you're like damn I wish I could actually go there and just chill out you know what I'm saying just so beautiful it's one of those movies when you're watching it it just looks so good and not only does it look good the music behind it just helps emphasize just how 
well put together this film is just how well it looks and it just gives it so much depth it puts the meat in the stew you know what i mean even between the characters when we have these beautiful conversations the music it just does a great job of just building emotional you know tension uh, 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 emotional aura emotional flow that just gives these certain sequences and these characters a lot of depth and I really appreciate that now Derek Kang friends Kang friends I don't know how to say this guy's name I'm tired of pushing it quite frankly I have to say he had great direction I like the the good focus of not only the setting itself which gives itself as a personality to the film as well but just how focused he were on the characters and with a movie like this where it's not a bunch of action, where it isn't a bunch of just crazy stuff, you will, and you have these two characters that need to carry the film. They did a fantastic job. They did a fantastic job. Like I said, I really appreciated the characters. I really appreciated the acting. I just love the film altogether. It's one of those films that I can say is probably one of my favorites. Of in fact, it's not even a probably. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, especially as romantics as a romance movie, which I don't watch too many of them, but as I feel like it's a good movie. Maybe because between the characters it just felt so <coughs> maybe between because when watching this film, when I saw these the relationship between these two it just felt so real. And then later on when they have, when they have this dilemma of you know, when they have this big moral dilemma how human they feel in their actions yes you see what the you you know what the decision is what you should do but what is the emotional fallout can you deal with that emotional fallout behind it so there is a lot to like about this film and i and like i said it's got me hyped to read the book i haven't had a chance yet but as soon as i watched the movie i said i gotta go grab the book this is one of those movies i can honestly say it's just straight up awesome i would definitely give the light between oceans a four out of five. This is one of the times I feel really conflicted because even I really enjoyed this movie to the point that I feel like it's like a best of all time level to me. And I feel like I should have put this up to a five, but I'm not really sure. This is one of those moments where I'm like, okay, if there's a 4.5, I would definitely put that on here. But since I don't do the halfway marks, it's either four or five. I did say it's a four out of five. But anyways, guys, in the comment section below, let me know, have you seen The Light Between Oceans? And also, have you read the book? And what are the differences? Got to get on that because I want to do a video on that and just go back and forth with what they did doing the film differently from the book and vice versa. Be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and the notification button to get the best of what we got going on this channel. And we'll definitely catch you guys later.